Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain and recap a recently released British horror film called, She Will. But first, please subscribe to my channel. The film begins with an old lady Veronica, who was a famous actress of her era. We see her at an operating table where she was getting a mastectomy. This lady was a troubled one. She was not married, she had no kids, and was utterly unhappy. She was physically weak, mentally insecure, frustrated, agitated, and depressed. Veronica being an independent woman who spent her entire life showing herself in her best to the world, thought of herself as ugly, a less of a woman. She had lost her hope and desire to live a life. The physical and psychological pain she had was too much for her. On her homeopathic doctor's advice, she was heading to a solitary retreat center in Scotland. Here Daisy was a nurse who was joining Veronica. Veronica being an arrogant bossy lady was misbehaving with her. Daisy cautions her against wearing a prosthetic beast so soon after the surgery. Veronica ignores it, for her physical beauty was everything. For the last few miles, these two traveled by car and finally reached the center. It was literally remote full of woods, mountains, and steams. Obviously, the mobile network was absent here. At the center, Veronica was greeted by many people who instantly identified her they started talking to her they took a selfie with her. This gave Veronica a panic attack, she asked Daisy to move them away from her and she wanted to leave this place ASAP. She thought she will be alone here, but it was not the case. The center had missold the package here. Daisy heads out to call the cab, since the mobile coverage was absent here she couldn't make a call. It started raining as well. One lady who seemed to be a staff asked her to stay the night. She says tomorrow Veronica may feel better. With no option available Veronica agreed to stay here. These two got a separate cabin out in the woods. On their way, they saw a tombstone dated 1722. In the olden days, people burned witches here. As many as 3,000 innocent women had lost their life. The tombstone belonged to the last victim, a mother, and her daughter. Veronica felt bad for them as clearly this was a tragedy. These two settle in. Next, we see Veronica in a bathtub relaxing alone, a black substance drops from the tap into the water. After this Veronica gets a powerful dark vision, she heard voices and screamed like hell. Daisy rushed in thinking she fell down or something but thankfully she was okay. It seemed like another panic attack. Daisy moved her to her bed, dressed her up, and gave her medicine. But Veronica didn't take it. Later Daisy slept on the sofa while Veronica was on her bed. While sleeping Veronica again got visions. This time it was nearly real, first, she saw the wilderness around this cabin. A lady and her daughter running in fear. Herself in a trance-like state walking out. Ash-filled mud fast approached her and filled her feet. Veronica saw a bunch of ladies coming from a fire where one lady was in the middle with a cuff on her face. The next morning when Daisy woke up, the ash-filled mud was under her feet. She was confused as to how it got leaked here as this cabin was slightly elevated from the ground. She cleans it thoroughly. Veronica also woke up with confusion, for her the visions in the dream were nearly real. She also saw the trail of ash mud at the same place where she stood in her visions. Daisy again tried to socialize with Veronica by asking about her necklace. Veronica being less bossy said it was her mother's. This center had organized many daily activities for guests, today was the painting by the side of a stream in a French Impressionist style. Daisy forces Veronica to participate. While these two were walking there Veronica felt a similarity to this wilderness as if she knew this place. At the painting site, participants were given charcoal to draw as that was abundant here. Veronica asks Daisy to bring her glasses from the cabin. A hundred years ago this mountainous place was the hive of coal production. Tons and tons of charcoal were extracted from here. Many women used to believe the soil had therapeutic value. Here Veronica got another vision. She saw a woman in mud ash tied to a tree. After seeing her Veronica started painting like a possessed lady. She used the mud around her and wrote something on it. Daisy was searching for Veronica's glasses when she heard a noise. It was a staff guy called Owen, he was supplying woods for the night. He invites Daisy to a local pub at night. Daisy was surprised in knowing about this. When she reached Veronica with glasses she had completed her painting. 
I say it could easily be termed modern art. On the way back to their cabin, Daisy saw the trail of mud ash everywhere. Birds were flying in rather a strange formation, few of them were dead. Strangely a thick fog surrounds here which causes these two to separate. Veronica got another vision, this time she saw a teen version of herself in an assault state. This memory of hers was haunting her for many years. This traumatic memory causes her to collapse here as she had an emotional breakdown. Later Daisy found her and brought her to the cabin. At night Veronica sleeps without taking her medicine again. In sleep, she again got the same vision of witches, a bonfire. Even though she was physically sleeping she felt as if she is traveling. She was in London in front of a news network headquarters where her first director Eric Hathborn was moving in for a late night interview. She was seeing him but was invisible to him. From the interview, we come to know that he was chosen for the knighthood for his 40 plus years of contribution to British cinema. This guy was controversial from the beginning on and off the air. He was also making a remake of his hit classical film Navajo Frontier. Veronica was the lead in this film, she was 13 at that time and it was her first film. The interviewer grills Eric about the Me Too allegations that were leveled against him at that time but Eric dismisses them as baseless. Back in the day, it was a common practice in the industry hence he never felt wrong about it. But here something strange happens. Eric vomits on live camera. Veronica who was watching all this in her vision felt kind of satisfied. The next morning she woke in her cabin, she vomited strange black mud ash-like substance. Black molds started appearing on her feet. Strangely Veronica was feeling a little happy and cheerful. She participated in a group discussion session where they were interpreting the drawings. Veronica's drawing was quite a thing, she says she drew at the instinct, it has no meaning. But one lady reads the words she wrote as a daughter, it was in Scottish. Veronica hated kids, she didn't know Scottish yet she wrote those words. She was surprised and amused at this. Daisy was also unnerved by reading about the witch sacrifices that took place here centuries ago. During the discussion Veronica doesn't like one guy's sexist remark, she thought of burning his hand. To her shock that guy's hand literally catches fire. Everybody panicked, nobody knew the hell this happened. Veronica thought she had powers, this place gave her powers. Suddenly the mentally weak woman became strong. She started behaving nicely with Daisy and even allowed her to do her hair. At night Daisy heads to the pub in the nearby village where Owen welcomed her. These two enjoyed drinks and danced a little. Owen gave her an herb that had an alcohol-like effect. Back at the cabin, Veronica understood her visions are not just visions but some kind of power. Tonight again she sleeps without taking her meds, again she felt visions. This time she found the bone of a woman who was burnt as a witch. Daisy was dizzy due to the intoxication, she started heading back to the cabin where Owen accompanied her. The charcoal soot was falling all around them. Deep in the woods Owen started physically assaulting Daisy who being in a semi-conscious state struggled to free herself. Just then Veronica arrived there, she attacked Owen and buried him alive in ash mud. Daisy saw this, she too got visions but soon she passed out. The next morning Daisy woke on her sofa, Veronica was outside, her body was full of black moles. Daisy was confused as to how she got here and what happened with her last night. She took Veronica inside and wanted to leave this place ASAP. After taking a shower Daisy was ready to leave but Veronica wanted to stay here. She kind of understood what was happening here. This place had witches, they were helping her but it was taking a toll on her body, ultimately she may die due to this. Veronica was okay with this. Hence she gives Daisy her mom's necklace and asks her to leave. She finally saw Daisy as her daughter and to protect her, she distanced herself from her. Daisy was heartbroken as she was heading back she met the same woman whom she met for the first time. This woman gave her a lift, then she took an estate car and started driving out. Tonight was the night of Alachadian, the burning of witches. Locals and guests here used to celebrate this by igniting bonfires. People always believed witches as demonic and this bonfire was the symbol of their victory. To me, this seemed to be an awful tradition but heck these guys were doing it as if it's okay. Veronica prepares herself for the night, she sleeps again and travels in her vision. She first destroyed the bonfire by throwing all her clothes in it. These were the precious beautiful clothes that held her back. As the bonfire burned the clothes it started a nasty smell. 
Every guest started running from there as they thought witches are really burning. Obviously here Veronica was invisible. After this, she heads to a hotel where Eric was staying. She starts to haunt him, she wanted an apology from him, she wanted him to acknowledge his crime. Eric was adamant he insisted that it was consensual. In a rage, he attacked Veronica with a glass bottle. We see Veronica disintegrate into soot since she was not physically there. This soot attacked Eric in a rage and pushed him down the floors. He got killed which seemed like a suicide. Daisy was driving out, she had a change of heart and she decides to save Veronica's life. She drives back to the cabin where Veronica was covered in soot. The soul of Veronica was roaming in the woods as it seemed she had decided to move on. But Daisy was also adamant, she started reviving her, and she was crying as if she needed her. Finally Veronica caves in and returns to her body. In the last scene, we see these two driving out, Veronica was happy her pain was completely gone. She was glad that Daisy was there for her. Somehow the homeopath's advice worked. Daisy saw Eric's suicide news. With this, the film ends. So basically this retreat center was surrounded by the ghosts of witches who were falsely accused. These women always helped other women who suffered like them. That's why in the olden days women used to come here for therapeutic value. Veronica was suffering from her trauma for a long time, she needed help. She isolated herself from others in a such way that it was nearly impossible for anybody to help her. This roaming woman was definitely a witch who was helping and guiding. The cinematography, music, and eerie dream scenes make this film an enjoyable one. Overall it's a good one. If you like my videos then please subscribe to my channel. Give it a like. Thanks for watching. Take care.